highest scoring team in the country, 49 and a half per game. And West Virginia is ninth at 41 per contest. Moore as a Mountaineer. And they line up to throw it immediately to T.J. Simmons. And he gets gang tackled. Oh. Kennedy McCoy, the running back. And Greer swings it out to him. And he's down a yard short of the first down. Joins Kennedy McCoy. David Sills, the motion man. And they give it to Letty Brown, lined up as a full freshman out of Philadelphia, Newman Garetti High School. Greer, again, they give him another easy throw, try to get him into their season numbers, but over the last three weeks, really, in particular, has struggled stopping these good passing teams in the Big 12. Yeah, 106 for the year, but the last three weeks last in the country, 130th in pass yards allowed. Here's Kennedy McCoy. Corners off. They try to slam the run up the middle, and it works. McCoy slicing for a same saying, look, we're going to be balanced. We think we can do both. Puka Williams, the freshman running back for Kansas, went for 252 himself. Six most in Kansas history. Greer straight back this time. Flag down as he takes off and runs ahead for about seven. Really, it was Amani Bledsoe. <laughs> Offense, number 55. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay first down. Deniers 46. First and 20. Take the quick pass and hand it off on a draw to McCoy. He's a physical coordinator and play caller for West Virginia. Four minutes gone by, opening possession of the game. Here's Martel Petaway. Down to the third down and seven. Oklahoma showing pressure. Will Greer checking, changing his protection at the line. Experienced quarterback, 22nd start at West Virginia. And a bomb on target! Sells a West Virginia touchdown. The safety, Brendan Radley Hiles, and he just ran right by him. Sills was the inside slot. On the field, stands, touchdown. Just think it's so hard to tell. Plus, you have to be sure that that look is straight down. Pass defense struggles continue for Oklahoma. We set him up with several short passes. 33rd pass. 40 yards or more in less than two full seasons at West Virginia. Completed by Will Greer. Short kickoff by Evan Staley down to Trey Brown. And he slipped as he tried to cut up the field. And Derek Pitts. The officials really let them play in the defensive backfield. Coaches had no problem with it, said it was the same on both sides, but they allowed the DBs to be physical against the receivers. Trey magnificent season as the first year starter. For the Sooners, leading the nation's highest scoring team. They're number one in total offense. And Campbell guy. Sermon, the running back, he left last week's win against Kansas after one carry with a left foot and ankle injury. Murray throws a wobbler behind Sermon to keep him in the pocket. He's listed at 5'10. Coaches. West Virginia hope to make it difficult for him to see. Marquise Brown taken down by 51% on third down this year for Oklahoma. On target for a first down. Marquise Brown, they call him Hummery on that throw. West Virginia not lined up as Oklahoma got to the line very quickly. Got him hired out here and uh, has continued that as the head coach. Elevated to head coach when Bob Stoops retired. Here's Murray, the worst nightmare for Tony Gibson's defense. Murray gets a nice block downfield from C.D. Lamb and scores! A 55-yard touchdown run. His parents, Kevin, and... Watch Trey Sermon with the key block on David Long. He gets long on the edge, and then if this guy gets in space, I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of angle you have. He's too quick, too elusive, and that... Austin Seibert 
Adds the extra point. 62 rushing yards total. Here's Cybridge kickoff again. Not return. The fake to Martel Petaway and Will Greer's throw is too high for Marcus Sims. Riley as he had a better year than Baker Mayfield, the Heisman Trophy winner last year, said, I don't want to answer that. Let's say they both played at about as high a level as anybody has played the position in the history of college football. That sounds like an overstatement, but when you think about their territory, a chance to get off the field here for the Sooner defense. Don't you think it might be Todd? Whichever defense get a couple of stops tonight and a couple of turnovers, maybe even one, sells the catch. So it's a pretty impressive catch. It was a beautiful November day here. The temperature got up into the mid 50s, but it cooled off quickly the once the sun. To force a turnover or two if you can. You're not going to stop or totally negate some of these better offenses, but you got to be able to be good in situations. Here's Petaway weaving his way through this porous Oklahoma defense on Monday 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. 7-7 seven, seven the score. Five and a half to go on a half. Trevon Wesco wide open. The tight end rumbling inside the 25-yard line to the 20. He has developed as a right. star here in the second half. Hard. And Kelby Whitline, number 72, has been the swing tackle, starting at right tackle tonight. That was a change made this week. Tibbetts had started 33 games all at tackle. Takes Babbitt told us he's never played guard. He's repped it in practice. He's playing guard tonight and leading the way for Martin to start tonight in this huge game. First and 10 from the 11. Petaway. Up the middle inside the zone. Monty Bledsoe has returned to the defensive front for Oklahoma. Petaway returns to the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. Into the end zone. The 275 pound tight end just clears. Touchdown overall, Evan Staley. The extra point. Evan Staley kicking off into about a seven mile per hour breeze. Trey Brown. Up and And the ball oh. is out. They're signaling. Looks like they're signaling that he was down. I'll see about that. Looked like David Long, and it was David Long, their great linebacker, who sent him airborne. Dante Bottom. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field of down by rule stands. First down. For the reason that Bill Lamont debuted in 1936, they're the only team that's ever won three straight games with giving up 40 points or more in each of them. Here's Kennedy Brooks. A case offense and special teams. There can be some finger pointing, but that hasn't happened at Oklahoma. Murray on target. Marquise Brown. This unit up front is outstanding. Yeah, from left to right, there's no weak link in that offensive line. The throw incomplete, a little short for C.D. Lamb. Like this. Kennedy Brooks, gaping hole, first down, and much more. Stayed on his feet, broke several tackles, and finally taken down by Josh Norwood in the run game. And sandwich. A guy who wouldn't be playing had it not been for those injuries to other linebackers. They've played better defense here than they have in the past. Kennedy Brooks stacked up after a two-yard gain. Quickly for third down and nine. That offensive line gives Murray all day to throw, and it's a touchdown. Marquise Brown. A 25-yard touchdown. Tyler Murray trying to enhance his Heisman candidacy is already run. He says they talk just about every day and they train together in South Florida. 
Our Todd McShay said that across the line. He's showing some good leadership and adaptability here in this offense from what I've observed on the sidelines here. His accuracy both in and out of the pocket has been impressive all year. Catch and run Marcus Sims. Speedy one. TJ Simmons dropped for a loss by Trey Brown. 108 yards and a touchdown pass for Greer playing in his final home game here. Took off running, tackled from behind by defense. West Virginia, four for four on third down. Letty Brown, the running back. Just a three man rush. They're playing pass coverage. Catch made short of the winner of this one on to the Big 12 championship game a week from tomorrow to play Texas. Tied at 14. West Virginia going for it on fourth and two and converting. David Sills out of bounds inside the. From the 38 yard line of Oklahoma. Greer. That's a, that's a sad deal. You could see, even as he was walking off the field, he got quite a shot on that play. As you said, he's an excellent deep threat. Letty Brown ripping through the Oklahoma defense to the 14. Rushing 137 yards passing. Hasn't been a stop yet. Letty Brown. Kennedy McCoy, the running back. And Todd, we did check with the replay booth from our truck. <laughs> Five out of six on third down. The one time they didn't make it, they made it on fourth down a moment ago. And that's a touchdown to Gary Jennings. Third down. Yeah, he did kind of go in there and throw his body at him. You know, he could have very easily just avoided him, and Jennings would still be open. And seven eight yard touchdown yeah. to Jennings the ball back on the 23 for third down in 19 They didn't get a stop the conventional way in the red zone, but they got the penalty It was a good call. They yeah. fired off <laughs> some cannons That created some smoke or whatever it is fourth and six from the ten Neither team has been stopped yet. Can Oklahoma get a stop? They bring a blitz. It's a pass to the back of the end zone. First stop of the game by either defense goes to the Sooners. Marioff is back foot on target to C.D. Lamb. And he's down here down the stretch. Trey Sermon on second and one gets the first down tackled by the eighth in terms of number of plays per game. So, so they're just so efficient, even though they don't run a ton of plays. There's two things they found. Off the play fake. Lots of pressure. pressure on Murray on target. Coming back to make the catch. Brown made the accurate throw. Flag down for a false start. They tried to go very quickly. And he can get down the field. So third down and six. Pressure again from West Virginia. And a wide open receiver. Marquise Brown across midfield and out of bounds. Because Oklahoma substituted, they're allowing West Virginia time to get its subs on the field defensively. Jeremiah Hall, the motion man. Murray on target. Two quarterbacks that I've ever seen who seems to throw the ball better on the run. He's on the run and fumbles as he hit the ground at the 30-yard line. Recovered by Kenny Robinson. Playoff when they take on their rival USC from the Coliseum. Of course, you can watch it live on the ESPN app as well. Kennedy McCoy to find a way to get something done with your defense. Take to McCoy and the quick slant is deflected. That Marcus Sims has left the sideline for West Virginia still emotionally went to their locker room Will Greer lots of time and incomplete Crowd wants a flag. It was intended for Sills good 
last home game playing for his hometown university. Third year as the starting punt. C.D. Lamb. Broke a couple of tackles but could not spin away. Which clinched, clinched its spot for the win today at Kansas. Kyler Murray in a 14 all tie going deep and there's Hollywood Brown again. And yanked down at the one yard line, Keith Washington. The corner on that deep post route. I mean, that's easy throw for Kyler Murray. There's the ball down. Oklahoma first and goal. Trey Sermon to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Brown, when he graduated from high school. And he's in. Here's Foster Seibert to kick off. Returnable, no. Over the head of Tevin Bush. Back in the Washington band. Well, the bus crash yesterday, thankfully, none of the injuries life-threatening, but the band didn't make the trip because they all couldn't make Oklahoma State last week. He's a talented receiver, a tight end that can flex out and play wide receiver. Transfer from Miami. Career 12 out of 16 passing. He had missed on the previous three before the... They've had injuries at running back as well. Alex Sinkfield is a key member of their running back rotation, but he's missed six with a... Petaway chopped down. Amani Bledsoe got him at the line of scrimmage. Injury. Yeah, yeah, McKivitz is back to his normal right tackle. And Chase Burke, who's been one of those guys they've rotated in there, right guard is in there right now. Greer, nice throw. Got another first down. It's Gary Jennings. Jennings has got to be more of a factor. Greer going deep. Single coverage. Flag down as Sills went after it with Trey Norwood. Defense, defense number 13. The 15 yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic, first half. You saw the game last week, Oklahoma State and West Virginia and Stillwater. They let a lot of that kind of stuff go on both sides all day. Quick pop to Wesco. He's very near another first down. Three catches for Wesco for 38. Fifth year senior, third year at West Virginia, came out of Lackawanna Junior College in Pennsylvania. He's been a revelation the second half of this year. Greer, again the fade to Sills. The foot in. And it is a touchdown for the Mountaineers. Has to reach behind him, he fakes the screen. What a beautiful double move, he's working on the safety, Robert Barnes. That is an outstanding. Great by Lane Kiffin when he was at USC. Transition to wide receiver here at West Virginia. Here's Evan Staley to kick off for West Virginia. And it'll be another touchback. They've come back early to root on the Mountaineers in one of the biggest games in the history of the stadium. The local papers talking about it as being one of the biggest in the history of the West Virginia football program. Kennedy Brooks. Of course, this is a and really an offense that's built to keep them right in this football game. Straight ahead. And they gash him on the run. Kennedy Brooks off to the races. Will they catch him? No, they won't. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Another long one. 68 yards. Oklahoma's third play in scrimmage of 50 yards or more. And it's a touchback again off the foot of Seibert. Said he's the most talented player on their team, no matter what position. Just, just purely the most talented guy. Here he was. He is down. Card Gordon, we see anybody come on the field. He is significantly bloodied. Second and 11 for the 24 yard line. Greer under duress. The ball's out as Caleb Kelly took him down. He scoops it up and scores. Down play. He was.
sack and lost control of the football. Caleb Kelly comes free. Will Greer does not take care of the football. And the worst case scenario, Oklahoma not only gets the turnover and the sack, they get a touchdown. Beautiful individual play and makes a big play for this Oklahoma defense. An enormous play. That's been another one. And, and how good these guys have been able to do it. And they've been doing it with a lot of young guys on this defense. Kevin Bush had trouble handling the kickoff and got. Swing pass and does. Simmons lucky. He didn't get flagged for the takedown. Well out of bounds. Greer a little bit too far out in front of T. Simmons getting more action without Marcus Sims available to them. But he went to the locker room. Kennedy McCoy, the running back. The conversion for the first down. Four man rush. Greer was given some time, but ran out of time. Throws for six. third quarter. Remember, West Virginia won the toss and took the football. So I think this drive right here for a touchdown is critical for West Virginia. Well, there's enough time for West Virginia. They're 0 6 against the Sooners since they came into the Big 12. Seventh year in the conference for West Virginia. And almost certainly four down territory if they don't get it. And there's James who could not make the catch. Half for the Mountaineers. Lots of time for Greer. And the catch made by Gary Jennings. And a first down to the. That's a nice job. Again, plenty of time for Greer. Again, single coverage. Jennings reached for it and was very well covered by Trey Norwood. Was the best offense I had seen up to that point. Very similar traits. Greer backpedaling, and it's up for grabs. A battle for the ball. And a catch. Dominic Maiden. Now it is, so they have plenty of time. Here's first and goal, West Virginia. Single coverage with David Sills right here. He's signaling the route that he wants. And it was a slant, and it was broken up by Trey Norwood. Timeout Oklahoma. A freshman from Richmond Hill, Georgia. McCoy, the running back, on the right hip of Greer. And he's down to the goal line. And they're marking him down short. And the clock. Greer goes out in motion. It's a Wildcat to McCoy to the end zone and a touchdown. That's a lot last year against the Sooners. They had both tight ends in, Wesco and Hat. Evan Staley, the extra point. It's the first. More than halfway to it. It's still not to halftime. Trey Brown. Watch that game, and even though Michigan seems to have the better team and is playing better, 13 of the last 14 years, Ohio State's beaten them in six in a row, and Jim Harbaugh's never beaten the Buckeyes, so. <laughs> By Outback Steakhouse. Second half underway with Evan Staley's kickoff, a short one. And a good return. It's the kicker involved in slowing him down, Trey Brown. An excellent return. Not allowed a single play all season of 50 yards. And Mississippi State was the only other team in the country that could say that they hadn't given up a 50-yard play. And on offense, it's... You know, both teams forced a turnover in that first half. Oklahoma scored when theirs. West Virginia did not. Kennedy Brooks breaking tackle. Still going. And inside... West Virginia's been a much better first half team than a second half team. We saw those second half woes last week in Stillwater when they blew a 17 point lead to the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Brooks again tripped up or he had a just starting the second half. How about those numbers? For the year, they averaged 6.9 yards per rush. 
That's two yards more than any other team in the Big 12. And they stick with the ground. And Bevel is running the football. Marcellius Sutton, another who was in the rotation, who broke his leg early in the year. West Virginia showing blitz on third down and eight. But they rush three and try to cover. To the end zone! And a bad mistake by Murray. An interception on an underthrown ball picked off by Kenny Robinson. And back as deep as the deepest guy. And because of the pressure. Here's Helmet. Capitalize on this turnover. The things Oklahoma's not done. They play great offense. They don't turn it over. They had 10 all year entering tonight's game. That was eight. And Kennedy McCoy got enough for the first step. So far. Not a lot of depth at that position. Stick with McCoy on the ground and Bledsoe again today gave Texas a scare late. Wide open, Trevon Wesco. Chopped down, Brendan Radley Hiles. 22 of them have come in the last eight games. Greer trying to throw it deep. Jennings is out there. Gary Jennings, a West Virginia touchdown, 57 yards. Bill Greer for hanging in there under pressure and making that throw. What a big play in this game, that interception. Oklahoma's had three. Luke Hogan kicks off. He's the backup kickoff man. He's taken over here in the second half for Evan Staley. And they're covering Trey Brown much better. Tyler Murray on first down. Gives it to Kennedy Brooks. Looked like they were going to tackle him for a loss. He's right now here in Morgantown. Under 10 minutes to go, third quarter. The winner to the Big 12 title game next Saturday to take on Texas. C.D. Lamb, a nice turn up the field after the catch. And he's across the 40 yard, averaging a ridiculous 8.8 .8 yards per play for the season. Here's Murray. Runs out of bounds. In the June Major League Baseball draft this year, the ninth pick overall by the Oakland A's, a $4.7 million signing bonus. Zach Green tackle would have been a bigger play. Evans is a high school teammate of Tyler Murray and those terrific team quarterbacks. Second and two. Big hole. Kennedy Brooks powers inside the lanes in the running game. Not as good as there is in college football. Ford just looks like a mountain there. He has the high stance on the right end of that line. We said it earlier. He can really run. Pass protects from Murray. Runs away from the defense. That's not the first in between going after him hard, but then running the risk that you. Give him a running lane to take off through. Second and four, seven minutes to go, third quarter. Tied at 35. And Murray threw it away. General direct. Oklahoma has not punted in this game. They're in field goal range, certainly, on third and four. C.D. Lamb stacked up a yard short. Oh, they moved. Movement on the left end of the line. It's Carson Meyer. And even if Oklahoma makes this, this is still a win for the West Virginia defense. Seibert, one of the very best. It... Well, they just skip it and go to overtime right now. Tied at 62. Seibert's kickoff. Fair catch. And. I think injecting himself right back into the very serious part of this Heisman Trophy round, but 
Will's moved up a lot of spots, passed a lot of quarterbacks in Todd's rankings this year, past guys like Ryan Finley and James. That, that is one of the most important factors for me. He's playing very well in this big game, trying to get to Sills on a deep. They come after Greer on second and ten, another treat throw. And more good coverage by Trey Brown on TJ7. Or a concussion evaluation in the first half. So third down and ten. Very few third and longs on either side tonight. They've been moving the ball on virtually every down. And they'll move the chains. It's Dominique Maiden. Petaway against this West Virginia run game. They do some twisting up front. Still don't get near Greer, who fires one through the hands of Mark. Foul. Hands to the face. Offense number 55. It's a 15 yard penalty. Replay second down. A second and 25. Quick pop to TJ Simmons, and he's tripped up by. Third down and 18. Creeping up as if they're going to rush five. Greer might be changing the play. Defenders look to the sideline. They rushed four. And Jennings is open. Wow. Jennings fighting toward the goal line and ripped down just shy. But probably hand signaling Greer if there's any chance of a pass. They're going to try to power it in with Petaway. Play clock, 10 seconds. Under two and a half to go, third quarter. Letty Brown lowered his head. And he, he's been almost exclusively a guard this year. Greer. Touchdown. Look like he might have bobbled the snap momentarily. Pusher on this play. He's going to get right in the hip of Will Greer and drive him into the end zone. 275 pound pusher. Gets him into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's Evan Staley, who's never missed an extra point in his career. Ooh. Oh, almost the unintended Texas a week from tomorrow against the Texas Longhorns. Luke Hogan kicks off. And Trey Brown calls for a fit. That was a thing. I did know <laughs> recently that that was a thing. It's a thing. They put up videos on YouTube and they have a lot of people who really think they're big deals and they are big deals. <laughs> you got a little fancy with us on Thanksgiving right. weekend That's with right. the gadgets and gizmos. Second and ten. Trey Sermon and it's a fired up Mountaineer defense dropping him. Crowd fully engaged and the Mountaineers want a timeout. They call timeout to make sure they had the right alignment defensively. They come after Kyler Murray. He lost one deep and wow. into the arms of Marquise Brown. Wow. Seven yards receiving and a touchdown for Brown. Murray checks it down. Brown not tired. Down the sideline and still going. Breaks the tackle and scores. And Oklahoma reclaims the lead. Ten catches, a single game. Austin Cyber. Bush. Had trouble. I think in panic mode, he took off. Just shuffling them all over the place. Quick Pox Burns playing left guard. Greer going deep, and again tight. And a man running free. It's Jennings again. It looks like an instant replay. Another long touchdown for Gary Jennings. Safety takes a horrible angle to the football. That's a true freshman. Delarian Turner Yell, number 32. Previous best was 189 against Virginia Tech last year. Will Greer also a uh, but that's really the way West Virginia plays pass offense most of the time. Three catches of 
50 yards plus in the quarter for Gary Jennings. Trey Brown. And Feaster fanned it for him in kickoff returns here in the third quarter. Starting a true freshman quarterback, replacing Sam Darnold, and it just has been an uphill climb the whole way. Tyler Murray, after the play fake, hits Carson Meyer in stride. To take on Texas. Oklahoma trying to stay in the chase for the college football playoff as well. Down by four as the fourth quarter begins. Kennedy Brooks breaks tackles and weaves down to the West Virginia 34. Tyler Murray, after the play fake, had to pull it down, then fired a bullet for another first down. Marquise Brooks, the running back. Murray gave it to him, and he gets slammed down for a loss. Oklahoma back over the ball quickly. Lots of time for Murray. Far sideline, first down. Carson Meyer. To Murray communicates the play. Hands it off. Kennedy Brooks twisting down to the two in the arms of number. Second and goal as the Sooners try to reclaim the lead. West Virginia crowds the middle, so Murray tries to go outside and could not get outside. Let's play. West Virginia crowds the left side of the Oklahoma line with that the strong side of the formation. And Brooks did not go anywhere. Giovanni Stewart led the defense. Murray on the perimeter with something here. He goes straight back. He fires oh wide open. Touchdown, Grant Calcaterra. <laughs> Run all the way. Tyler Murray threw it for a touchdown. And off. Tevin Bush. Back for the kickoff from Seibert, who is a touchback machine. Here's tonight's hardest huge night tonight, along with Marquise Brown of Oklahoma. On first down, Kennedy McCoy skips through the holes and takes off. They have the angle on him, but will they catch him? Barely. Out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Number one was blocking a defender completely out of bounds, which is a personal foul. It's a 15-yard penalty oh, wow. from the spot of the foul. First down. And then at this point, just go down and celebrate with your running back. Remember earlier in the game on the far sideline with Simmons after Dana Holgerson's irate? Bill Lamagna here in the booth telling us it's a good... Two teams through three quarters, 1,151 combined yards, most in any game in the country this year. Deep ball for Sills. Affairs. Defense number 11. On barring the receiver, preventing him from getting to the football. It's a 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. I think more tightly. It's a different officiating crew here tonight, obviously. And we saw in Stillwater. Greer falls up in the air and now loose on the ground. And Oklahoma. Curtis Bolton taking off for the end zone. Second defensive score of the night for Oklahoma. What a turn of events. Owens in the fourth quarter. And ordinarily, I'd say, Todd, in a game like this, something like that, let it go, but it was so egregious. He blocked four yards, a career high. He's had two costly fumbles that were both recovered and returned for touchdowns. Another touchback off the foot of Austin Seibert. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. But as Todd said, the two big fumbles. Each team has turned it over twice. Draw to Kennedy McCoy. Time start. Take on the Texas Longhorns. Long throw for Jennings. Nearly came up with another one despite double coverage. Part West Virginia 11 for 13, or for 15 rather, on third downs. 
Some twisting again up front for Oklahoma. And the pass, T.J. Simmons can't hang on. I believe Oklahoma has gone three and out tonight. They have not, says our statistician Brian Taylor, who's running out of ink in those pens with this one. Billy Kenny's punt out of bounds at the 41. Oklahoma averaging 11.7 yards per play. They'll improve on that average as offense now after that 14-yard run. They've actually been outgained by West Virginia by three yards. Eight and a half to go. Kennedy Brooks. You wonder if the heart's going out of the mountain. 8.8 was entering tonight. They're at 9.0 now for the year with their performance tonight. And you're right, Holly. This is the best offensive line we've seen this season. Kyler Murray slides down. Made sure the ball didn't come out with Giovanni Stewart in pursuit. West Virginia was not set at the snap. Murray throws low, and Calcaterra could not make the catch. Five yard penalty, fourth down. Front runner Tua Tagovailoa will play in the Iron Bowl tomorrow against Auburn. It's a good Auburn defense. We've had a bit of a discipline. There's Kennedy McCoy on first down. Luke. You'd have to think the loss of the loss of Yadney could just tackle has really hurt West Virginia. Greer swings it out wide. McCoy can't. Time running out on West Virginia. Six minutes to go. Down by 10. Greer launches one, and Simmons could not make the. West Virginia to perhaps reclaim the lead. Moments later, a defensive touchdown for Oklahoma has completely changed this game. On fourth and eight, throwing it up for grabs, and they get the flag. Joker Ferris. Defense number 20. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. Still haven't gotten this crowd back into it yet. A score would do that. He's launching deep. Throws it up for grabs, and it should have been intercepted by Delarian Turner Yell. That, that's what Ruffin McNeil talked about moving to the next play. Yes. You get it? Drive on. Sills close to another first. Five and a half minutes to go. Made it. Long way from the single game passing yardage mark for West Virginia. It's over 600 yards by Geno Smith. <laughs> He's taking a run at it. Sills another catch. Pushkar Stadium for him, and here's Petaway, and it's a game again. Seventeen-yard touchdown run, West Virginia, 704 yard. Big extra point for Staley. Should over their heads and try to go get them. They're onside kicking. I don't understand that at all, and that's why it's a free ball. Oklahoma saying they had it and look from here like they did. Grant Calcaterra, the latest to come away from the pile, sooner seem convinced that they have it. And they do. They made them punt once, but Certain point, you gotta hope they can make a play. There's Kennedy back when she asked about that. This is a touchdown game, not a field goal game. And I'd be inclined to give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Here's an option look. Kennedy Brooks done such a nice job breaking tackles and making men miss. And him to maybe make a play for West Virginia. Made a bunch in his career. 183 yards rushing for Kennedy Brooks on 19 carries. Option the other way. Brooks tripped up. Drayvon Askew Henry in his 50th career start makes the tackle. Tank. Murray pitches it quickly. West Virginia takes their second. Convert. 
It's a huge step toward Arlington and the Big 12 title game against Texas. Only a three-man rush. They're trying to defend the yard to make. Murray scrambling around, pointing everywhere. Fires! Low throw. It is caught. C.D. Lamb. Time. It's very hard to uh, get him down. Even pressure him, as we saw, with three men. Well, he can move around and elude the three of them. He had all day to throw. And Dana Holgerson uses his last third, time out with time 150. Out with Second and nine, 31-yard line. And Lincoln Riley credit went for on fourth down. Here's Murray. Murray slides down a little. He got the first down and stayed inbound. They considered, I mean, the, the idea or the fact that anybody could think it's a foregone. And their freshman field goal kicker won the game. The only loss of the season for Oklahoma. They'll have a chance to avenge that. Longtime friends, Holgerson and Riley. They'll embrace it.